tough. So if you guys throw out stuff at me and just start, you know, saying this guy sucks, I'll talk about something else, and you know that's how it's gonna go. So anyway, I'm um, I'm also very happy to be here tonight to finally like make fun of the Bobbitchers to their faces. It's just <laughs> such a in a in a good way. It'll be a nice way. I'm not like a I'm 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 not a real snag. I'm like what they call like a wannabe Lubavitcher, like a Lubavitch poser. I don't want to grow the beard. I don't want to keep Colby Stroll, but I want to marry one of your girls. That's that's how it is. And actually, I came to uh, Crown Heights for a wedding last night for the first time. I've been to a bunch of Lubavitch weddings, but uh, this is my first Crown Heights affair, and I was uh, I was. Showering down, I had this pepper steak, man. It was like stuff in my face, and you know, you're sitting in traffic on like Eastern Park, thinking about the food, and you're thinking it's gonna be like a regular wedding where they're gonna have that whole soggy broccoli salad at the beginning. It wasn't. Like they give you pepper steak, they give you noodles, all sorts of things, and I'm showering. And I look up, and everyone's gone. Everyone's gone. Like, what the heck? And they're cleaning up the food, and I'm like, I'm in, a, I'm in a scare. I'm like, I just sat in traffic for two hours. And I'm a rabbit, so I run into out, I'm grabbing plates, and everyone's like, no, we're going to 770. I'm like, what the heck is going on? Why are we going to 770? I just started eating 770. And I'm like, I don't want to go to 770. And they're taking the food away. And someone's like, no, the chuppah's at 770. The chuppah's at 770 is the most disorganized thing I've ever heard. No one told me about this. It's not on the, it's not on the invitation. Where are we going? There's school buses outside. I'm like, there's school buses. But no, it's Menachem. I'm like, yeah, you know, it's the closest I'm going to get. To being in a girl's school in Lubavitch, so fine. So I get on the bus, and it's one of those, you know, everyone smells from, you know, the pre-wedding, no one really took a shower because it was at five. And I bet you ten people in this room are related to the person whose wedding it was of, because everyone's related. They all are. Geographies, crossings are. Lubavitch geography is completely different than Jewish geography, because everyone knows everyone. It's not like regular when kind of like, you know, walking around, you're like, oh, you know that guy on 13th Street and whatever, blah, 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 he's walking away already, what is this? I know, I'm joking around. Um, okay, I ran, so, but uh, everyone knows each other, and someone saw me, and I knew them, and then I said I had a cousin, I have one Lubavitch cousin, but my one Lubavitch cousin, who according to my family went off the Derek, by the way, which is completely... You know, you think you you would think it was something else, you know? I know, right? Exactly. And thank you for that. I appreciate that. So I use my one Lubavitch cousin to get me into free Chabad houses. You know, I go like to Idaho. Oh, he's my sister's, you know, mechutzen or something like that. You know, and I get like the free meal and I get the free place to stay in Texas. It's all good. I live in Texas, but like I get the whole whole thing going on. So anyway, I'm sitting on this school bus, we're going to 770, it's going to be good. And then I'm kind of like standing around, it's completely dysfunctional, but it was cool. They have that, like suddenly the music just comes out of the wall, you know, and everyone's kind of like davening Mariv, and there's a chuppah going on, there's like random people walking down the street, like, who is it? Oh, it's, they're related to like Schneerson or something, whatever. You know, every, <laughs> everyone's related, it's great. They stop on the street like, oh hey, what's going on? Everyone's like hugging each other, there's this like, complete Jewish geography fest going on. I'm like, it's freaking freezing. I'm in my suit. I want to get back to the pepper steak. And I'm at 770. So of course I had to go into 770 to see if Charlie Buttons was there because I'm in love with the guy. And uh, he, he actually is an Upper West Side native. I don't know if many of you knew that. I think a lot of you think that he's, he's a Crown Heights native, but he's not. He's not. He's not from Crown Heights. He's from the Upper West Side. He used to hang out in the Carl Bach Shul. And Somehow, I think he came here because the Upper West Side became too mainstream. All the singles moved in. They kicked all the weirdos out. People like my dad moved to Far Rockaway because they couldn't be normal enough, and they didn't want to move here. So, all the weirdos, you know, kind of, you know, don't really live anymore. So anyway, so I'm at 770. We come back. The wedding was completely. The food was amazing. I was impressed. The other thing they had, Chabad is very good with the whole like interracial thing. So good that they had interracial chalas. Brown and white chalas. It was unbelievable. I was sitting there and there's just this like pumpernickel and egg challah together at last. If only, if only they can get water and egg together, then we would be set. It would, it would be. Water and egg, right? You like the, like the, the water challah is so much better for like dipping in like crane and stuff. But the egg challah doesn't fall apart of the soup. 
I'm serious. It's so there's such like differences. You know, imagine if imagine if they had like a mix of matzah. You'd have like the whole wheat and the regular matzah. Someone would say it's chametz, guaranteed. Matzah. If matzah gets too good, it's chametz. Everything matzah, chametz. No, nope. saucer, saucer. It's got like it's it's got little like extra holes in it. Matzah tantans. Matzah tantans are amazing. No, nope. it's chametz. Yeah, you get these boxes, it's like matzah, not for Passover use. I'm like, who the hell? When do people eat matzah besides Passover? When on earth is this going to happen? I have no idea. I mean, I eat matzah. I think matzah is a great herring food. I don't know how many of you eat herring. Are any of you old yeah. enough to eat herring? <laughs> no? Ian Back, you eat herring? You're using a klezmer band. I mean, klezmer is like based on herring, right? They play klezmer and then eat herring and talk Yiddish and talk about like their socialist, you know, motives or whatever. That's what Yiddishists do, but um, <sighs> big matzah fan. Camp tam, garlic camp tams? Any of you like garlic camp tams? Yeah. You guys keep like pasta rolls? Is pasta roll a bobbish thing? Yes. Come on, give me some like it is. You can't have tam tams. How is it with tam tams? You guys garlic tam tams? Yeah, we could have tam tams. They are. Yes. Thank sir. God, man. I mean, because I don't. I think tam tams were created for cream herring, because you get in there and you scoop everything, and it all like the octagon shape allows all the onions to be on there and not like dripping off or any like, you know, slippage. Like Ritz, Ritz crackers, which are not pasta stroll, by the way, but Ritz crackers, the circle just doesn't, it, it doesn't work. It doesn't work. Everything just falls over their place. You gotta get, you gotta get the like, the cracker under the cracker, you know, and you have to have another cracker to like get all the residual onions to get in there. And then if you have another cracker, you can't have like the shot in your other hand. You know, that's impossible because herring without like, you know, vodka or scotch, Actually, in, in Crown Heights, it's, uh, it's uh, Glenlivet and, and Smirnoff. Smirnoff is, is like a, it, it's a done deal, but I'm still not sure. Uh, Glenlivet and Grey Goose is like, it's like a sponsorship. Like it's Jack like Daniels. Jack Daniels? I never see it at, 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 a, at events, you know? That's a weekly Chabot. A weekly Chabot. See, I come, I'm more of a weekend warrior, I think. I feel like during the week, I'm kind of like a little scared of what goes on. What? You go to the rituals. Oh, Beis Shmuel, my God, dude. I went there and they had this kiddish. I seriously, man? I was sitting there, it's just like, I was stuck. I can't, I, he told me not to talk about the women, but let me just say Beis Shmuel. Beis Shmuel. Um, <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. I, maybe you want to convert right there. <laughs> it's a great way to get people in. You bring them to Beis Shmuel, you give them the food, you let them look over the mechitza a little bit, and you tell them, this is what we have to offer. <laughs> Uh, What's he saying? <laughs> he doesn't know English. He doesn't know English? <laughs> one time, I'll tell you what happened in Israel one time. One time, I was in Orsa Math for a little bit, but I didn't really like go to class. I kind of like rode my bike and went to the skate park all day. And um, uh, I was walking home on Shabbos, on Shabbat. Shabbat, right? You understand that? Shabbos is not Hebrew. Shabbat. Sudat Shlishit, right? What's Shalashutis? You ever hear this before you come here? Shalashutis? Yuntif? Who, who invents this stuff? They're not even words. They're not even words. Shalashutis. Sudat shlishit kemo shalashutit. Yes. Whatever. You understand? Tamevin? Yeah, that's a... Zababa, all that stuff. So I'm walking down the street in, in, in Israel, and there's this like Shabbos riot going on. It was awesome. Like, I'm thinking Shabbos riots suck. You know, it's so unfortunate that, like, the Satmar way of, like, Kiruv is to throw rocks at your car. Like, dude, we're going to, like, throw rocks and fruits at the car, and they're going to become from. That's the way to do it. It's like, why don't you just go put up spilling on them? Do, do some of soil. Take it from the Chabadic. No, let's go throw rocks at the car. So they're throwing orange peels and, like, fruit and stuff, all the stuff left over from Sudat Shlishit, um, or Shal Shudas, as we call it in this neck of the woods. And, and I kind of joined in the Shabbos ride because I thought it was great. I thought it was, it was just such a good Shabbos afternoon activity, <laughs> throwing stuff. And I'm thinking all the while, do these people hold of the Arab? That's what I'm thinking about. Do they hold of the Arab? They don't hold of the Arab. They get the little kids to do it. There's all the guys in the background with the big, long, silver, yellow things, and they're yelling, Shabbos, Shabbos, monotone, like Ben Stein. You guys know who Ben Stein is? He's the guy from the Wonder Year. He's the guy from the Clear Eyes commercial. You know, clear eyes, dry eyes. Really, like, very dry, you know, monotone. He's like Mr. Hand from Fast Times at Richmond High. I don't know how many of you are old enough to know what that is. 
right there, like right in the back. Oh, wait, wait, very dry person, so they're yelling Shabbos in the background, like monotone, and the kids are throwing stuff, and I'm sitting there, and like, I have like hair down to here, and I'm like yelling, Yeladim, old autos, like, I, I was like, I, I don't know how to do it in Hebrew, I was like, oh, I know, I know, I know. Bolamata, the Shmula Navi, the Barilan, old autos. I knew there were more cars down at the bottom, and then it would create a whole riot of things. It would be great. Everyone would be like throwing things, and the cops would come out, and the cops came out, and the cops are amazing in Israel. Because, like, you know what they do with Brown Haredim? They bring out the women cops. I love the women cops. And I'm sitting there, yes, women cops. And the women cops, they take off their outfits, they take them off, so they got tank tops on, they got these big guns, and I'm like, oh my god, this is the best thing that could happen. And it's all on Shabbos. <laughs> and I'm sitting there, I'm like, wow, I could be like at Seder learning like Baba Kama, or out here watching like female cops and tank tops yelling in Hebrew. And they're so, I love them, man. I love the Israeli, like, you put Is Israeli women in guns, it's just such like a, su such a, like it's John, it's a, such a Milo, one of those Yeshivish terminologies that people use. It's like such a, oh, I know what it is, Machaya. That's a good word right there, I know. Machaya, Vildechais, I like the Vildechais. So they're, they're yelling and screaming, and there's this whole massive frenzy going on. This is all for you, Israeli, by the way. I would, I wouldn't even, this wasn't even part of me. You don't even understand this. You come here, you expect us to speak Hebrew to you? What is this? You're like Hispanic or something, you know? Go up to the, go up to Washington Heights. What is this? You, you got it. You know where you gotta go, man. You gotta go to a pizza store, because in New York City and every other city in the world, the Israelis moved here to start the kosher pizza racket. Every pizza store is owned by a, a brown, sparty Israeli guy. It has to be. You go to Dallas. The pizza stores in Dallas are owned by Israelis. They're the only Israelis in the whole city, and they own the pizza and falafel place. That's it. They, they started this racket. You know what? When pizza went up to 250 a slice in Brooklyn, they were, you guys, what is this? What is this? You come to our country so you can rip us off with kosher pizza? Even in Crown Heights? You would think that Crown Heights is like the one pretty normal place in Brooklyn? It is. It's pretty. You ever go to Borough Park? You don't, you don't, you, you don't, you don't get in Crown Heights. You don't get the Borough Park stare. Do you know what the Borough Park stare is? It's little Hasidish kids going like. <laughs> they just, they just stare at you. You're sitting in a pizza store. They're like talking in Yiddish amongst their like little brothers, and the parents are like totally oblivious because there's like 15 of them, and they're just like, <laughs> you're like, what the f are you staring at? What are you staring at? And then I figured out that you're coming into their neighborhood and they never get such close contact. The closest they get is on the Palisades at the gas station, with the, like full serve. That's the closest. That's, that's how it's going. But I, I hate the borough parks there. It just bothers me, especially when you're davening. There's that little kid who's like tugging on his tati. His tati's like, I am not disturbing Shimon Esther for anything. He's violent, shuttling, going like crazy. And the kid's like, I'm dying, I'm dying, pulling on his tits and string like it's a bell. You know? <laughs> I'm dying, I'm dying. And the, and the father's just smacking him away. You know? he's enormous cussings, you know? So, and he's just looking at me. I'm like, I'm trying to freaking dive in here, man. It's just not working. You can do whatever you want. They, once they get that lock on, it's like a fighter pilot. They lock those stairs on, and all you want to do is just pull on their pants, but you can't. They're always a little too far. You know, just, come here, come here. So one time I was in and I'm a, I'm a cyclist, and I was riding in full I would not look good in spandex, so don't even imagine. It's like I have that whole like third trimester thing going on. Here. So Hi. I'm like riding up this hill in spandex. There's all these like turban women. You know, all the women in the shoulder pads with the turbans going on. And they're, they're just rocking it old school in the middle of the street. You know, rocking it old school like it's, it's prior to kugel making time. And, um, and they're, they're standing in the middle of the street. They got these, like, those clunkers, you know, those, like, clunker shoes that, like, if they kick you, you'll just die. You'll just fall down. And that's it. So they're standing there, and I'm riding up. And I don't know. I, I wish I knew Yiddish, but I don't. That's why I'm not cool. If I knew Yiddish, I'd be the man. I'd just go into those neighborhoods, dress up, and, like, Mess with people. That's great. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and, and I'm riding up, and, 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 and I'm riding past them. They're all looking at me, you know, like some scenery, like looking at a deer or something. You know, the deer, like a sweet. Yeah, it's a sweet. Um, so, riding up, I say, No, what's geeks do? And I ride past them, which means, What are you staring at in Yiddish? And they all look at me like, 
they gave me the Borough Park stare. It was like the Borough Park, Muncie, Lakewood, and Montreal stare all together. It was like, I don't think they were looking after me because my butt was just hanging everywhere over cheats over the seat. But like, you know, like it, it was it was it was very good effect. One time I got I said that and I got like posnished. So I went up to someone and I said, What the heck is posnished? They're like, they tried to explain it to me, and posnish really means nothing. I I couldn't uh, figure out it's, it's like Yiddish. It doesn't make sense if it's in English. There's a lot of Yiddish like this. My father he doesn't like the fact that I date older women. He hates it. Like and and older to him is like anyone within like Anyone within five years of your lower or senior, like I'm, I'm 27. If I date someone who's like 22, she's an older woman. He's 70. He's 70, and he's 70, and he just married a 46-year-old. I know, right? So, what can I say? And he's not even rich, so I don't know how he did it. And according to one of my fans, she's a milk, but I don't even want to go there. Um, I was like, what? It was actually like a stilt, like a stepmom. Yeah. So anyway, stilt. <laughs> horrible. Um, <laughs> so anyway, so so one time I talked to my dad and he says he just hated the fact that I dated and I dated older women, not only twenty two year olds, like twenty eight year olds. Oh my god, God forbid. Like in some cities they pay you to go out with older women, by the way. Because there's this shit up crisis. So they'll like pay you to like they'll throw all the baggage on you. And um really? I would do it. I would go out with girls just for the money. I don't even care about the date. Like just to make them feel good. I always want to go out with these girls never pay me to go out with you. It's like from escort service. You get seen, you get seen at the Brooklyn Marriott with a good looking younger guy and you're like, you know, some like just blob who no one wants to go out with. Imagine that. It's like, Yankee, I saw I saw a shangle with a guy. Oh my god, you see this guy? He's so normal. What happened? Or how did she, she's such a never. How'd she get such a guy? I think she paid. <laughs> or they just pay for me. Like I think like running out of the shit of Christ would be great. Like just like if the girls paid for guys, once you go on a date with a girl you don't even want to go out with, and then you have to pay for that. If they would buy you dinner, imagine if girls took you to Prime Grill. You didn't have to take them to Prime Grill. Everyone would be going out with everyone. There'd be shit of like shit of proliferation. There'd be like so many things. And the girls make more money than the guys. The guys are stuck in your sheet, and the girls are going to become PTOT speech therapist, whatever, one of those things that they go to Turo for, you know? <laughs> so, um, so anyway, my dad calls older women, he says, older women are ice kaklape shanas. Does anyone know what that means? No. He knows. He knows, in the back, out of the beard, the guys with the long beard. Anyway, it means that an older woman is, is like already banged up by shanas. Wow. And I'm like, wow, that's such a clever term. Like, where do you... And then I found out it's not just for older women. It's for like used cars that need to be junked. <laughs> oh, it's for like all sorts of things that just need to be like thrown away. Like my computer's f five years old. The uh, icy cup of shots, you know. It's like I mean, shots with like one leaf hanging off. But uh, actually, last night the dancing at the wedding reminded me of Hoshana Raba. Seriously, it was like one main loop. And then there were like 30 other just random trains of people going nowhere, <laughs> trying to go around the loop and ending and stopping. And they had nowhere to go. And then you see this like ra the rabbi from NYU. He had this like conga line going with all like his buddies. And then there were like, there were just people running everywhere, random like those like Russian dances where they go like this, the little kids like dancing around and like big old dudes running into them and everyone's like knocking each other over. Well, Shana Rob is the same thing. I've never been around the Bima seven times, never. I've never done it. No matter what shortcut I go, you know, there's always that guy who like, he's running with his head down, he puts his brim down and he runs around like through like the chairs and stuff. And he's got his, he's got his spears poking into people and he's trying to get around seven times. And they, they still don't make it. They don't make it. And you have no idea what they're on anyway. Suddenly you're, 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 you're like, and then it's like, Evan Shasia. There's like all these random phrases that you say. And it's, to me, it's, it sucks because they all like, at the end of Hoshana Rabba, there's that Anenu stuff. I don't know how many of you guys know what I'm talking about. There's all that stuff that you say over and over again. That's like part of the dabbling that I skip. I have this whole list of things that I never say during dabbling. Like you guys don't say it, but Madlikin, if you had to say it, you wouldn't say it. It's just like, it's, hmm. imagine reading a Mishnah in like three minutes. I don't know how you can do it. Because they like, do that whole mumbling out loud thing where they just keep going. And they have to remind you it's Yala Diablo like 16 times. Those guys, they can do it real fast. I don't do it. You know what else I skip? The when impossible. It's like this long. The other ones, I'm like, just take me to Friday. I'm pretty sure it's at like, some age, I'm pretty sure at some age you just stop saying the words and start humming. Dude, totally, man. You know what I do? Sometimes I'm like, 
trying to like take my laundry out. I'm like, you know, like all sorts of things. I have this whole like list of things I've done while davening. Like I have like my filling on and I'm like gardening outside. I'm like changing a flat tire. <laughs> kind of like those old, like those old Hasidic tales where the guys wore filling all day. I'm so holy. Cleaning my toilet with the filling on. I'm cooking, <laughs> cooking breakfast. I got the whole the whole thing going on. I don't want the filling on. Except that's all during my like three minute abridged chakras. I say like brachos and like suddenly I'm at 20. And I'm and I wind up in the most random things. I'm doubting like Hamer La Aretz and I wind up in Takaba Shoker. I don't know how this happens. I have no idea. Like I'm I'm like saying like 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 Birch a shocker and I'm in like Hallel. Like what is this? The last two days I forgot was supposed to be. I'm like, okay, I'm going to see it after I eat breakfast. And then it's like, Mara, I'm like, ah, oh, shit. I forgot what's supposed to be. Again. And Halal also. I, halal just, Halal all lumps together. I'm saying Halal, and all of a sudden I'm in the Halalukas, and I'm somewhere else. But there are a bunch. Az Yashir, I, I've never said Az Yashir in my life. You know that? I know it's wow. like pathetic. Right? Exactly. Wow. You know why? Because in snag sitters, they have it like split up. The snagit sitters for all the uh, snags in the back who don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> they have it like split up like leaning, and it's so freaking annoying to say you lose your place and you're on the third line for the 15th time in a row. So I just skip it, you know. And it, you know, to me, if if it was so holy, we'd say it like once in a while, you know. That that's my thing. A lot of stuff wants to. I like certain parts. Like Ashrei, I can say Ashrei. Ooh, the end of uh, the end of Hallel, That last bracha is the fastest prayer in Davening. Wow. Your Hallelujah. Fast, man. All those those things they made it so it just flows. It just flows together. They have some prayers that flow in some prayers. Yishtabach. Like Bala Sion, forget about it, man. You put Aramaic in a prayer, I'm like, nope, nope, I don't like it. Out. Out. I'm not doing it. So but I got new to fill recently. My to fill were stolen in uh, Costa Rica. Yeah, I know, right? Yeah. And I was all excited because I have like I have every none of my friends put on tefillin anymore. So I'm like, yes, I'm gonna get some free tefillin. I'm gonna get like a stack of tefillin and sell them on eBay or something. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, and and no one wants to give me their tefillin. I'm like, you don't you you're married to a non-Jew. I need my tefillin. I'm like, what is the sentimental value? And then someone someone of higher authority, like Hebrew National, they told me that I couldn't <laughs> take anyone's tefillin because they might put it on. So I didn't get my free to film, but fortunately I had someone donate from Australia. I got a whole one of the the good Nikumish guy made me some used to film. I'm like, where do you get how many people are related? No one. My God, this is like a pathetic audience. You should be someone should be related. Cousins, you know him? Uh, I know. I love him. Someone knows him. Someone he's some sofa in Australia, semi to film. Used to film. I'm trying to and they were pretty good looking. So it, it wasn't from like an old man. Do they, do they recycle the film? Is that what happens? I'm sitting there, I'm like, am I putting on some big rabbi who dies to film? Because I'm like getting so many brownie points here. He's like, Shina's shining down. I don't even have to die. I can, like just tuck, pick them up, be kind of them for the day. And like, yes, I don't even you're have to die. This is great. It's perfect. The abridged, abridged version. I, I, I don't got to do nothing. But actually, there's this like program, and I tried to get them to daven for me. There's this program called Western Wall Prayers. You pay a bunch of those guys who ask you for money to pray at the hotel for like a shidduch or something like that. So I'm sitting there, I'm like, can I just pay them like, not to say a prayer for someone else, can I pray them like to daven for me? And 40 guys is surely better than one at the hotel too. And it takes, the, and it prevents them from like asking you for money 10 times. Those guys that ask you for money and then they throw it back at you and you don't give them enough. They don't give paper, they just like throw it back. Okay, hey, thanks, appreciate that. I got bombarded last night at the wedding. I've never been to a wedding with so many miserable up. And I was trying to figure out, the somber guys at Razak, are they there for the food or they're actually like random stray relatives? I'm trying to, I was trying to figure it out. I couldn't, I couldn't, for the life of me, there was these guys that are walking around, they got pancake hats on, they're sticking out like a sore thumb, and they're chowing down. They were just, like, seriously, you, you would never thought they ate in the last 20 years. The same guy asking for, Israeli, that is, some guy looking like him asked me for money like 10 times. I gave him at 770, I gave him at the chuppah, and then he comes to the wedding. They know, and then he probably hit Ayel Torah, he probably hits it up every night. And he was so cheery, because his, his wife was dying of cancer, and he was so happy. So I'm like, and the guy was smiling, he's like, ah, oh, how you doing, the comedian? I'm like, your wife is dying. What is wrong? You're here from Israel, and your wife is dying. What? And, 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 and he said she needs some special medicine that costs a lot of money, and I'm like, like what is it? What is it, cocaine? Heroin? You know? 
she can't snort Vicodins, it's not gonna work. <laughs> you know, I didn't understand. But but um, there was a doctor at a table and I said, I'm like, dude, dude, he was an older guy, so he didn't want to. But if I was a doctor, I'd be like, yeah, what's the medicine? Hmm? Yeah. Give me a Hebrew speaking guy, grab that Israeli guy, and be like, come here, read the paper, tell me what it says. I always want to go, like those guys come up to you. I like Tzedakah, I give to everyone, even if they look like they're just going to go and snort some coke with it. If they have a Yamakon, of course. If they're black, forget about it. But, um... <laughs> <laughs> I know, they're like below the belt. Whatever, I made up for it with the interracial challah, so, you know. <laughs> so, so, I always want to, like, see if, if they actually, like, I, I think those things, like those paper things, they sell them somewhere in Lakewood. They sell them, and they say, like, you know, like, in, if you read it in English, it'd be like, go F yourself, you moron, I can't believe you're giving me tzedakah, signed by, like, Donald Trump. But in Hebrew, I wrote Donald Trump, oh, it sounds, it sounds pretty from, right? And it's like, crump, they crumple it up, and they put, like, 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 Havdullah wax on it. They use it as their Havdullah holders. That's what I think they do with it. And they're like, yeah, this will look used. We'll go with the burgers bar and get them tonight. Yeah, that's right. We'll get those rich Syrian kids with those tight pants with those faded lines on them. Bleached hair. They never bleach their hair, though. Someone told me to make fun of your bleached hair. I had nothing for him, though. I was, I was like, yo, surfer bro, you know? Like, we're going to go to the East River, man. We're going to go surf. I, I, I had nothing. I really had nothing on bleached hair. I one time um, did, uh, I did highlights. When I had, like, a long, longish hair, I decided to let my friend do highlights, and it didn't work. It was like, it was like I looked like a cat. It was really bad. And then all these people, I love all the do-gooders. They were, ball tubas especially. They were like, you can't do that. Baganisha. I'm like, what? It's not clothing. It's highlights. No, 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 Baganisha. My Rebbe told me. I love BTs. I love BTs. They're my favorite people to mess with. I'm like, they're like, oh, what's this water for? I'm like, no, it's, it's holy water. by a Holy water. You're supposed to drink it. <laughs> it's all like, no, 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 it's in the cup, in the thing down there of all the hands, all the hands, all the someone's washing there, and it becomes holy. Bad things equal good things, you know, like, like, you know, all, all that sort of stuff. I'm like, oh, yeah, there's some, yeah, you gotta snort that stuff. I don't know if the globe, I don't know if the globe will fit. I'm telling you, though, no, you can't flush the toilet on top. That's the best one, man. That's the best the one. I laugh every time I read that piece, man, about the toilet. Uh, Dude, you can't flush the toilet. You know why? Because it takes stuff from Rishus Hayyachit to Rishus Hayyachit. I love that one. I love that one. Unless you pee. If you pee, it's us on multiple things because you're mixing. You can bombard them. Oh, oh, it's the best, man. You dump it in there. You'd be like, we can't do that. Just chop it. What do you mean? I just want to mix my, I just want to put my crane onto the, no, you're changing its consistency because the crane is coloring the fish red. <laughs> God, I'll ask my representative right away. Yeah. And, um, and all those CDs you're going to throw out, since I know you're new, just give them to me. I'll hold on to them for you for when you come back down from your crazy state of balchubiness. Balchubas are, are probably the easiest people to make fun of. They're the ones who are like in davening. And they're shuckling so fast that they're like providing wind for me. Really hot. And they're like, and, but they don't do normal shuckles. They are the violent shuckles. They're like all over the place. They're like, you know, you, you put on some rave music and give them light kicks and they'll be going. <laughs> and they're the guys you can hear. You can hear them clopping sloth running from like 300 yards. Like, are, do you have to kill yourself to clop? I mean, maybe, because if you're about shooting, you knew all the bad stuff you did, and they make you feel really guilty, especially if you go to H. They do militant cure. Everything. You go there, it's like, it's like, you had a non-Jewish name? Yeah. Gotta go. So, so they pick the most, the, the names they can't even pronounce. They're like, hi, name, my name's Haya. You're like, what? Haya? Haya? <laughs> like, yeah, my name's Haya. It's like, dude, you can't even pronounce your own name. <laughs> you are know, not, like, that great. And then the guy's, like, coming in, they're, like, they, you know, they're, like, driving a show on Chavez, but they drive the show, they get out, and then they put on their hats, you know? It's much more important to be externally from than internally from. Much more. You have to have the look before you actually do anything. Because how are they going to let you into, how are they going to call you up for an Aliyah if you're not wearing a hat? Seriously. I was in shul this Friday night, and, and this is never, this is, I told my dad this is why I live in Texas, but it's really not. I just live in Texas because of the weather and the skate parks. But um, I'm sitting in shul, and I'm in shirt and pants, and it's far away for you. And this guy turns to my dad in the middle of davening, right by that Bemema weekend, like, you know, switchover thing, like right after, like, Mizmar Shir, no one really knows what's going on, and they're, like, waiting for the cause. And this guy turns to my dad and he's like, would your son dress like that? If he went to visit President Obama, 
If I would have known that Obama stopped wearing jackets, I would have had such a great comment. He stopped wearing jackets. He doesn't wear jackets anymore. But I didn't know this. Instead, I told him to go, no, I didn't. I wanted to. And they said, your son should be, you should be embarrassed that your son in show. I mean, this is in front of like six people. I was like, I can't, I was just speechless. I was like, what? Are you out of your effing mind? What is, I was just like, this is like, you killed me in front of six people. You're like, wow, I'm getting mad scar. I didn't think about this at the time, but now I'm thinking about it. Man, I got mad scar. She's just going around to really like throw me shoes and like, put on shorts and a t-shirt and walk in and have them like yell at me. Yeah, I'm so embarrassed. I'm like boosting up in the world. I'm getting brownie points, man. I'm just represented, man. And this guy, I'm just like, um, where I come from, people don't care how you look. They care that you're in shul. How do you know that I'm not a like bal chuba who just happened to mosey in here? How do you know that I'm, I'm religious? How, I mean, you could have just like turned me away from Judaism because of your ignorant, foolish remark. He's like, where are you from? You know, one of those like militant Jewish geography from Brooklyn. Where are you from? No, they don't care what your name is. They don't care what your shoe size is. All they care is where you're from, what you do, and where your father goes to school. I don't know where your father goes to school. I don't know why that matters. But like in Borough Park, it really matters. In Far Rockaway, it really matters. Like, oh, uh, when's your father go to school? Oh, the Kaabach school. And then it's like, where's that? You know, it's like, where? Like you say Brooklyn, where, where, where? They keep going, where? If you say Crown Heights, I 